some fossil fuels in order for our grandchildren, great grandchildren, and their great grandchildren to have sustainable sources of energy. Our school has taken time to look at solar energy and wind energy, clean energy sources that will not pollute environment and hopefully restore balance to our ecosystem because alternatives that continue to pollute our earth should not be considered valid and sustainable alternatives. And while we need to use and check all possible options, build options, <coughs> Building a plant that emits air pollution near people's homes and landfill is unjust. A landfill. I'm sure you're thinking, what do these children really have to say about this issue? But as children living, playing, and ground, growing in the Cap County, frankly, this plant scares us. As positive as renewable energy sounds, the side effects researchers have documented from biomass gasification plants will affect us the most. I don't want to take the risk of having carbon monoxide poison, and I don't want my friends, baby cousins, parents, or community members to be at risk for heart or lung disease. Prayerfully, me and everyone I know will be able to live and thrive in a community that makes the best decisions for my health and the health of other children. <coughs> also, as people of African descent, our communities have often had unfair and unjust decisions made for us. It has often been said that our communities don't fight for themselves, yet we get mad when decisions are made for us. As I look around the room, I see a community represented and clear that this plant is something we do not want in our community. The 2010 DeKalb County Board of, Health, Board of Health Report notes the grave, the grave differences in the health status of residents living in the South versus the North. There is more cancer amongst our adults, and the numbers of my peers suffering from asthma saddens me. If this plant is really necessary, can't it be located in the part of town that doesn't already have two landfills? Or will we just be the trash can for DeKalb County? Aren't there ways that we can create jobs by building plants that support clean, renewable energy that doesn't have a carbon footprint that is worse than the fossil fuels we currently use? What about solar and wind energy? Shouldn't we be creating reform that supports our communities and using less energy? That's, the students of Quilombo certainly hope that whatever decision is made today is a decision with us and, and other DeKalb County youth in mind. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Richard.